Hey guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share a super sweet layout with you. I was challenged as part of the Hip Kick Club design team to use a cut file for a layout and I went a little bit outside the box because I didn't use the current cut files. I went back into the archives and found this absolutely adorable hot air balloon. Now the reason why it jumped out at me was because I had this adorable photo of my little girl and one of her best friends, Misty May, and I really wanted to make a super sweet layout. All the beautiful pink fresh studio products in the February kit were perfect for making sweetness shine and so I thought before this month is over and we're working with a brand new kit that looks equally as beautiful, mind you, I thought I would finish the my uh, February, des well, my March design team projects off for you with this super sweet layout of um, my little girl and her bestie. So this hot air balloon, I end up, I'm going to back it. I'm going to back it with all the pretty Pink Fresh Studio papers. And I also pulled in one of the crate paper out of the Ooh La La collection as well to, to back that. But before I did that, I wanted to gesso this background using white gesso, just plain white gesso, because I wanted the hot air balloon and the photo to really pop off the page, but I wanted that subtle pattern coming through and I knew that the white gesso would be able to mute down that uh, that strong pattern in that pink fresh studio paper uh, to give me the look that I wanted. So I gessoed that and I've put that aside to dry. Uh, sometimes we're, especially in our climate here in Australia, where it's really humid at the moment, if I put my heat gun on that paper, it would really curl. And so I've just had to set it aside to dry in hopes that it won't curl too much. And as you can see, I am getting a little bit of curl movement in that paper just just by letting it sit and dry. But it, it it's it's certainly not bad at all. It's um, it's easily slides into the album but at the weather at the moment if I'd applied heat to the page I would have got a real curl in my paper and I didn't want to do that so I popped once I'd backed that cut file and which was fun a little bit time consuming but fun I popped it on the layout and I realized that I still wanted to tone down that background even more so I've just pulled out some white acrylic paint and I'm just popping it intermittently around the edges not where the cut file is going to be because I don't want to have to waste product when I know it's going to get covered up but just just to really add that little extra layer of um, white to tone down that pattern paper from shining through and as you can see by doing that it feels like the white I'm up in the clouds but I'm still seeing that pattern slightly through the background this cut file here that I'm going to use to layer up behind my photo was a part of the hot air balloon cut file they came together I believe in one sort of uh, you know package I didn't alter the size at all I just print it as is. So you're getting a really full image just by cutting it as is. Um, when you pop, pop it through your silhouette or your Cricut or I'm, I don't, I have a silhouette, so I don't even know if a Cricut does that. <laughs> but yeah, so whilst that white acrylic paint is drying, once again, I didn't want to hit it with my heat gun. I just wanted to start layering up and having a bit of a feel around with these gorgeous embellishments. These embellishments are from the uh, Cartabella collection and they are super sweet and got some vintage tones there. The Sorry, I did mislead you a little there. I did say that I was going to be using lots of the Pink Fresh Studio papers there, but it actually is the Cartabella papers plus the crepe paper plate papers there and the embellishments I'm I'm majority going to use are from the pink fresh studio range so I've led you astray there but so I've just corrected that so you don't go looking through thinking what papers is she talking about um, but I'm certainly now jumping in with those pink fresh studio embellishments and sort of filling filling it out they all the papers coordinate so well it's these kits are put together with such thought and detail that anything you make will coordinate well regardless of brand. 
So as you can see, I'm just playing around. I'm just pulling out those embellishments that sort of resonate. I'm thinking, what am I going to do to this hot air balloon to make it just that little bit more special? Because it's, you know, it's quite a magical little thing. And so, and so are these girls. They are just pure joy and I love it when they spend time together. Little besties and they'll continue to be for for such a long time. Now, um, just I, I love to layer things up. You, if, if you're new to my channel uh, and you love layers, check out my other videos. But if you've been with me for a while, you know that I love tucking things in behind photos, adding different layers. This photo is really great. It's got a, I printed it with a white border on it. So that was sort of already a layer there for me. And I just like building around my photo. You don't necessarily, when you've got a photo that is black and white like this one with a lot of black tone you don't necessarily need to add heaps and heaps of layers because the photo itself is strong enough that it won't get lost on a busy page especially with a embellishment feature like that a hot air balloon which balloon which is very detailed but it's to be mindful that um the layering and popping those extra layers behind your photo is really what brings it forward on your layouts and it features what what we're actually scrapbooking for where we're documenting memories we're highlighting moments if I um, like this is what it's all about all that flag you're gonna see me in a minute with that little flag <laughs> I get very frustrated <laughs> look how lovely it looks right there yes anyway I'll let you enjoy this journey as it unfolds of that adventures of the little flag <laughs> See if you can keep an eye on it. <laughs> um, yeah, that, I really wanted a little flag up the top there. I thought it would make uh, add a little bit of dimension to that uh, hot air balloon and make it feel like it's real and it's lifting off the page and it's sort of floating around up in the sky. Um, so, yeah, they, there you have it. I'm just going to sit, look at me sitting that little little embellishment there that soon decides to disappear on me. <laughs> I'm so focused on embellishing and things like that and as I thought it's time to put my cluster down and so I, I put that adhesive on thinking it was ready to go on that hot, hot air balloon but it wasn't. Uh, so I've sat it aside there and um, if you watch this process you'll soon see it's disappeared without my knowledge and uh, I've become very frustrated on the adventures of finding the flag <laughs> now I'm just using some of the acrylic absolutely stunning acrylic paint in the color kit that we got this month we got a stencil and three beautiful pots of paint they have a metallic finish and they shine and they that just complement everything that's pretty about this kit and I added oh where did the flag go <laughs> There you go. See you later, flag. <laughs> um, but those paints really complemented the kit. And in the, uh, what was it, the January kit, we got some modelling paste. So I really wanted to use the stencil and I wanted to cre use this, these beautiful paints. So I added a bit of that modelling paint to the acrylic paint there and I'm just going to add some gorgeous little, they're like tiny little flowers but they just create a little bit of texture and a little bit more floatiness around the hot air balloon. So I'm adding some yellow and some of the pink in those flowers, just giving it a bit of a wipe off so I don't cross contaminate the, the um, yellow and the pink. And I suggest when doing this and not being patient and drying off between each one, give that a really good dry off I've used extra fluffy paper towel I mean baby wipes there and all got caught in the little little nooks there in those in the stencils so I've had to spend a bit of time there just cleaning that up and the beautiful thing about these stencils is that they are very thin so they're flexible see how I can roll that up there and that allowed me to perfectly position the stencil where where it continues through so I'm not going to cross contaminate and I got that sort of range from yellow into pink 
as opposed to sort of blending it into a big mess and me squashing down that texture that I put on there with to add when I was adding that bit of modeling paste. So there you have it, just a subtle little bit of mixed media in the background there, nothing too much. But have you noticed the flag is now gone? <laughs> I didn't notice this and I wish I had because I looked and looked and I even had to pause the video and I looked and looked I was on the floor I'm thinking where is this flag gone I end up giving up on the flag until later when I go and clean up all my mixed media mess there and there it was stuck to the bottom of my paint palette <laughs> Do you ever lose things? Does this ever happen to you? I This actually happens quite frequently to me. Sometimes I'll put something down and I have to search high and low. Look, here I am getting frustrated. I'm tidying up as I go just to try and find this silly little flag that is now sitting elsewhere waiting for me to go and clean it up. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't have any idea. So looking, cleaning where is it? Where is it? Oh my goodness. Did I stick it on the back of there? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to ignore it now. This is what I'm doing. I've found these beautiful puffy stickers to distract me from the task of finding that silly little flag. <laughs> and I wanted to add a title there. Sorry, you can't see the full layout. Obviously my cleaning, I've sort of off-centered that. But I wanted, once again, trying to make this beautiful hot air balloon really magical and layers can do that. Dimension can do it. Different textures can do it. And so here I am adding that little bit extra flair with those gorgeous, puffy, scripty font there and fabulous was the most perfect word to describe these gorgeous little dollies. They are simply fabulous. Little best friends that are that are just a pure delight for um for myself and Misty's mother as well. So once again, I'm trying to think, I'm going to use these things up. Before I know it, I'm going to have another beautiful kit on my door and I'm not going to hoard and save all these beautiful things, especially when this layout is a perfect layout where you want to use those special little things anyway. I was just so happy with how magical and pretty this was coming together. And do you know who the biggest fan is, which is the most important thing, is my little girl who just, when she saw this layout thought a little magical world had it exploded and she loved it she sat and looked at it and read all the words and looked at all the little bits and bobs I'm really lucky that my little Katie Jane she loves to scrapbook so this this is right down her alley as well uh, so here I am just adding with these gorgeous little puffy alphas um, just the word friends down there because that's what these two girls are best little besties there and then you'll see it coming off so what do you think how do you think this has come together do you like making super pretty layouts like this or do you like to keep your layouts really clean I'd love to know chat with me in the comments I always love to uh, get to know you all and hear your thoughts and opinions just adding those extra little layer there a few puffy hearts and when I saw these stars, I thought, well, a balloon is a hot air balloon is often flying around in the stars. And that finished off that little bit of magic there. But not that flag. See, I stopped and went, OK, I'm changing. I'm just going to have to go with this flag too. <laughs> Change the flag, still couldn't find it. And I've ended up using this yellow one that said smile, which was great in the end because it highlighted and emphasized those little yellow stars. So thanks for watching. I hope my layout has inspired you to go out and check those older cut files that are available for Hit Kit Club subscribers uh, and make a magical layout like this. Please give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll be back again soon for a new layout. Take care. Bye.